Thanks for again. Um, as a scientist, I've been involved in a number of habitat restoration projects in recent years, including shellfish reefs and seagrass. And we've got a pretty simple saying, and that's no habitat, no fish. Because fish need somewhere to live. They need somewhere to breathe, they need somewhere to grow up, and they need somewhere to feed. And in fact, 90% of our commercial and recreational species rely in some part of their life cycle on inshore coastal habitats. And so we were going to focus on what, have, what do we have and what have we lost in terms of coastal habitats. <coughs> and we've lost a lot, and that's really costing our industry. Costing up to 30,000 tons of lost seafood per year from all the habitat that we've lost around our coastline. Seagrass, mangroves, only last year we saw a 7,400 hectare loss of mangroves in the Gulf of Carpentaria. And they're worth a lot of money in fish production and in the ecosystem services such as, uh, such as cleaning the water. <clears throat> so how can we get back this lost 30,000 tons of seafood per year? Well, we went and had a look at some of the restoration projects that were out there. And the thing that we noticed was that most of them were quite small. And most of them only involved small parts of our large seafood community. But we thought, if we can grow this resource, if we can grow our community through habitat restoration, grow the amount of seafood that we can produce, then surely that can be a common theme that you could unite our industry. So we went out and we talked to each of these sectors, many of these sectors we are involved in, so we can get some personal reflections within, from within those sectors. And we want to identify, well, are these sectors already involved in habitat restoration? And what they saw were the opportunities, and what they saw were the barriers. And now I'm going to hand over to Marco Tropiano from Wreckfish West, a mad keen recreational fisher. We will give you some insights into what the opportunities and the barriers are to, for the recreational fishing community to be involved in habitat restoration.